Hey what is up YouTube, it's Adam back here and today I have another video. This time it is a review of Clone Army Customs Captain Vaughn and Classic Vaughn in their Realistic Phase 2 armor. So each of these figures retailed for $27, um, not including the price of the helmet attachments or the visors, uh, which were another dollar each. Um, but these figures are definitely probably my new favorite figures uh, from CAC just because uh, Vaughn was just, I don't know why, he was just such an iconic character in Season 7, even though he only appeared uh, very briefly and subsequently died soon thereafter. But um, yeah, this figure is just, these figures, I should say, are just incredible. Um, and the, the recolor works really well, um, so I'm very excited to review these figures. And without further ado, let's start with Captain Vaughn. All right, so here is Captain Vaughn. He sports the new uh, Phase 2 helmet from Clone Army Customs, and uh, I think this is definitely an improvement on their older helmet just because it decreases its size that goes over the torso, and it certainly resembles the uh, Lego one that is very beloved by fans um, that came in the mini turbo tank and is also the mold for the 501st Troopers, uh, the early ones and the new ones, um, and I think it's just definitely um, a good step in the right direction. Um, and uh, yeah, other than that, this figure really isn't uh, new. Um, I've reviewed the 501st Trooper on my channel before, but I just wanted to point out that the body is uh, just exactly the same, but the printing, it just keeps getting better. I don't know how they do this. Um, just the printing on everything, the blue is so vibrant. Um, it's really, these are really the best figures in the game, in my opinion. But, uh, anyways, uh, the only thing new on this figure is the helmet, uh, which is fine. It is a great new addition to, uh, just the various helmets that CAC offers. And, uh, it's basically just the 332nd helmet, uh, with the markings on the top there and the orange. Um, but it has the, uh rectangles that I think only Commander Cody has as well um, that stretch from the front to the back which go over the Ahsoka symbol. So uh, other than this the orange just covers pretty much the entire entirety of the visor and uh, he has these uh, things right here that also appear on Commander Cody's helmet which I think is interesting and he also has the dark orange visor and the black and gray wraparound printing. Uh, there's something on the back of the helmet there. I couldn't quite figure out what it is. Uh, it just came with the figure, so it's whatever. I think I've had a couple figures that do that. Um, it's probably just an error with the printer. Um, so yeah, uh, it doesn't bother me too much. But uh, yeah, that is Captain Vaughn. Uh, so let's move on to Classic Vaughn. All right, so here is Classic Vaughn. Um, just getting it straight out of the way. Uh, the body is the same again as Vaughn. It's just the Bible First Trooper, but uh, I will note again, just the crispness of this print is just incredible. Uh, just the 501st print and all of their new prints in general are something that they've really nailed down. Um, but yeah, moving straight on to the helmets. The helmet is basically a recolor of Vaughn, except it has a couple added details. Um, the blue on the visor and around it is actually a dark blue. There's a little bit, um, you can see the difference. Um, and then it also has the bright light blue, I guess you would call it. Um, and then he also has the uh, breathers as Vaughn has, but the visor is a dark blue. And the rest of the head or the top of the helmet is covered in the same 501st blue, uh, which I do wish he would have kept the uh, Ahsoka symbol on there, but I think that it works um, in terms of just making this figure look cool. Um, I just think it makes him look more like a grunt, um, but just something, uh, just something very unique. I really like CAC's unique designs. They do a lot of cool designs, and this is certainly one of them. Um, so yeah, other than that, uh, just pretty much the back of the helmet is the same and the rest of the figure is pretty much identical to the other Vaughn. So really cool figure and I will do one last group shot of them and summarize just overall thoughts. 
So as you guys can tell, I certainly just love these figures. I think they're some of my new favorites. Um, just the overall printing quality keeps going up and uh, these figures in general are just uh, already iconic and uh, the classic Vaughn didn't even appear on screen and it's iconic to me already. So um, certainly there is something that could be there that could be improved about uh, the classic Vaughn, but um, overall I think they both work uh, really well, especially with the new helmets. And uh, yeah, uh, for 28 bucks a piece, they're really, really nice figures to have, and they blend in great with any clone army. So I would highly recommend these figures uh, for anybody. Um, and yeah, especially with the 501st Battle Pack out, I mean, you need you need somebody to lead them. So uh, this is just a great purchase overall, and uh, they're doing a 10% off sale right now. So if you want to go snag them, uh, make sure to do so. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And this is goodbye, and have a nice day.